yesterday's video caused quite a stir, especially when we talked about those straight lines near Timbuktu. If you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at this. The Senegal River comes up and meets Timbuktu right there in the bottom right corner. Now, while you might think that you're looking at some sand dune on the topographical map software, take a look at this. When you zoom in, you can clearly see scoured bedrock sticking up through the sand dune. And if you measure the distance across, you get about a mile. Here's another one and another one and another one. This time I measured from the top of the sand dune, but you can still see the clear bedrock sticking through. Let's go visit this place. Here we are in Mauritania and Mali right next door. You can follow the Senegal River down here. Don't mistake this part, but it's the next one right here at the top near the word Mali past Timbuktu. You go to Timbuktu and by the way, you know there's a river here. There's a reason for all this and you get these sand dunes you say wow sand dunes right but wait a minute when you get up close to the top of these sand dunes you don't see sand sticking out you see bedrock look at this one look at that right there now you've got bedrock sticking through the sand why is it a different color look at here this is a good example of what i'm talking about you've got sand dunes and lines how much well let's just go from here to here it's a little more than a mile people are giving me a hard time on the reddit because they're saying well this is covered with sand but look at it it's not covered with sand you can see the tops of this rock sticking through but you still have a consistent line let's take a look at the thumbnail that i used and as you can see these things are about a mile apart just like the kalahari canals down south okay those aren't covered in sand but they're old and they're about a mile apart you can go to niger and you can find the same type of weird lines uh, i'm sorry this is actually in brazil when we look at these lines I talked about up in the eye of the Sahara or next to the Rashad structure, they're mainly covered with sand. You can't see much going on. But when you go down below near the Senegal River, it's a different story. Those straight lines, those are created by more than sand. What's underneath that sand is popping through. You can see it in these pictures here. The very tops of the mountain sticking through. The sand is next to it. The sand does conform to the ground below it. It's not all about wind. It's also about the pattern below it.